Welcome. Let's talk about the construction for rotation. So we're given the center of rotation at point D. And what we want to do, we want to get triangle ABC, and we want to rotate it 50 degrees in a clockwise direction. Here on the right hand side, we have the measurement for 50 degrees. So what we want to do, we want to get point C and rotate it around D 50 degrees. And we want to do the same for A. We want to rotate it about 50 degrees in this direction. And we want to get point B and rotate it 50 degrees in this direction as well. So now that we have a visual of what we want to do, let's actually talk about the construction. Let's start by placing my metal leg at the center of rotation, point D. And let's place our pencil on point C. And now let's create a mark towards the right hand side, because this is the path that this point C is going to be rotating about. And notice that the direction is clockwise position, so that's why we made our mark going towards the right. Let's do the same with A. With my metal leg still at point D, now let's place my pencil at A. And let me create a big arc going towards the right hand side. This is the path that point A is going to be rotated on. And now let's do the same with point B. With my metal leg still at point D, let me place my pencil at point B. And now let me create an arc going towards the right hand side. This is the arc that point B is going to be rotated on. So now that we have the arcs of rotation that each of those points are going to follow, now let's build our angle of reference. Let's get our compass and put my metal leg at the vertex of the angle. And what we're going to do, we just want to create an arc, which we're going to use as our angle of reference. Using the length of this arc and without changing the length of my compass, I'm going to put my metal leg back at D. We're going to create a circle using the measurement for the arc that we just did for 50 degrees. This circle that we have here, I want to call it my angle of reference. This is the circle that we created using the arc in the measurement of 50 degrees. So now that we have our setup, let's start rotating our triangle. Let's start with point C. What we want to do, we're going to create a line that connects the center of rotation of point D with the original point C. And now using our compass, let's go back to 50 degrees and let's remeasure that arc. So now that we have measured our arc, notice that my metal leg is at one end of the arc. Well, the metal leg, now we're going to place it at the beginning of the line. And let's give this measurement of the arc on the circle that we created as our angle of reference. And now that we have found that intersection, let's create a line joining the center of rotation with the intersection that we found. And it is at this location where my new line intersects my arc or point C. This is where we're going to find the image of C. Let's call it C prime. Let's understand what we have done. We have copied this 50 degrees angle in this circle that we have here. So we can think of the lower side of my angle as being the line that we have just created and the upper side of my angle as the line that we started with. All that we have done, we have constructed a congruent angle of 50 degrees on the circle that we have around point D. So now let's clear all these marks and concentrate on point A. Let's start by creating a line that joins the center of rotation of D with point A. Now let's use our compass to measure the arc for 50 degrees one more time. Now that we have this measurement, notice that my metal leg, which is on the bottom, we're going to place it at this location now. And we're going to be looking for the intersection on this circle. And notice that we didn't change the measurement of my compass. So now that we have that measurement, let's create a line that connects point D with my new intersection. And notice that at this location, where my new line intersects the arc for point A, this is where we're going to find the image of A. So let's call it A prime. Let's understand what we have done. We copied this arc on my circle. That is the measurement of 50 degrees. And you can think of the line that we have just created as the bottom side of my angle and the line that we started with as the upper side of my angle. So now that we have found the image of A, let's clear these marks and let's concentrate on point B. Let's start by creating a line that connects my point B to the center of rotation at point D. Now let's get our compass and measure the arc for 50 degrees. Notice that my metal leg is at the lower side of the angle. Now let's place my metal leg where the line intersects the circle. And let's not change the measurement of my compass. Let's keep it as it is. And let's look for that intersection. 
Now that we have found that intersection, let's create a line connecting point D with the new intersection. And at this location, where my new line intersects the arc for point B, this is where we can find the image of B. So let's call it B prime. Let's understand what we have done. We got this arc and we copy it on our circle here. And you can think of the bottom side of my angle as the line that we have just created and the upper side of my angle as the line that we started with. Now let's erase those lines. Let's connect all the image points that we have found. This new triangle of A prime, B prime, and C prime is a result. When we got our triangle ABC, and we rotated it 50 degrees in a clockwise direction. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.